everyone. We'll get started with English and then switch to national language. I will do the first question, then raise your hand. Mira, you must be very th excited to be into the third round here at Roland Garros. Just talk about your emotions you're feeling right now after that win. Uh, of course, I'm really excited about that. Uh, uh, I, I cannot say that I didn't expect that. I was uh, fighting for it, and so I did it, and now I'm in the third round. It was your first, congratulations first. It was your first match on a, on a big court. Um, was it what you expected to? The Simon Mathieu is uh, not that big. So for me, <laughs> so for me it was uh, comfortable. I felt uh, as a, on any other court. And of course I've been prepared that the crowd like the maybe 10% of the crowd will be for me and the 90 for her. So I was just trying to stay calm and just focus on my game. Okay, we'll go David, Carol, Jonathan, Catherine. So David, just raise your hand. And Carol, Carol. Hi there, Mira. Um, I just wonder, you, you look very comfortable out on the court, court in this environment. I just wonder, is there an opponent out there, one of the top players, that you would love to play more than any other and maybe you might feel a bit nervous against if you played them? Um, I don't know. Maybe I would like to play uh, Onjabar because I like the way she plays and I think our game is quite, let's say, similar. And so I would like to play her. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, in terms of your game, if you compare to a year ago, it seems ages because you're clearly not a junior, at junior level anymore, but what are, are the main changes you would say in your game right now? I honestly don't feel, <laughs> don't feel any changes. I just, I just play, uh, but I think uh, I became more mature, so this is what's more important now for me and uh, I don't know. Let, you can ask my coaches if I uh, changed my game, but uh, I, I can say that uh, my uh, mental part became much better, and so that's what it, what's, what is important now. Mira, congratulations on another great win. We know that you are a big Andy Murray fan. Can you <laughs> tell us? why you like and admire Andy so much. Could you tell us a bit about some of the other people you like and admire? And finally, how does it feel to know that as your career progresses, you will have lots of fans who like and admire you and look forward to meeting you? You said ad admire? Yes, appreciate, enjoy. No, no. No, I uh, didn't understand. Appreciate. <laughs> appreciate. What was the question? I already Let forgot everything. <laughs> I, I, I will do it nice and simple. You like Andy Murray? Yes. Tell us why you like Andy Murray. Tell us why you like some other players. And what will it be like knowing that people will start liking you and become your fans? Um, what can I say about Indemar? <laughs> um, he was just uh, nice. I didn't expect that he would be like the nice of the court because he he always seems like so focused and uh, always into himself. So uh, I was just uh, I didn't expect to see him nice let's say, like open to the people. And so he was smiling and that's what I liked, let's say. Um, I didn't have a chance to talk to any other uh, sportsmen here, but uh, as I said yesterday, uh, for me, TFO, he seems uh, also a nice person. And uh, Coco, she's also nice. For sure, Jaber. I, I know that she's nice and uh, she's uh, like quite popular because of that. So, yes. And do you have any fans in future? How does that make you feel? Um, I, 
don't know, of course I feel support because uh, people come to see me, they come to support me. Uh, I had a couple who came here to support me from Texas. So I really appreciate it. And uh, like half of uh, my job, I just try to, to give them what they wanna see, you know? So yes. Hi, Howard Fendrich with the Associated Press. Uh, not sure who your opponent will be next, but it could be, I believe, Coco Golf. Uh, what? First of all, could you tell us a little bit about your interaction with her uh, earlier this tournament, and what do you think that match might be like taking on her here? We practiced with her once, so we just played like some points as usual practice. I mean, she plays quite aggressive, and uh, but the practice and the match is div different, so I might also play different. I don't know, who knows? And so we will, uh, if she wins, uh, yes, I will play her and then we will see. Uh, what will happen, who will uh, play better, and yes. And she, like you, had success at a young age at Grand Slam tournaments. What, what do you think was is the most difficult part of, at your age, doing well at tournaments like this? Maybe, as my coach says, to not be like diva like to stay humble all the time and uh, like even though I don't have like I don't think that I have a lot of success now you know it's I didn't win any tournaments I just I just play and uh, it's like it's a third round of Roland Garros I will play so like but I didn't um, like catch something I don't know like incredible things I didn't do that yet so I don't know what what the answer, which answer is right for this, but I guess just to stay uh, humble. Hi, Mira. Congratulations. Um, I realize this will probably make me and everyone else in the room feel very old, but what is your earliest Roland Garros memory? Um, I guess since uh, last year, when I met Djokovic uh, in the hall of uh, Suzanne Langren, he was going to the locker room and he was singing a song. So that's what I remember. Like, this is the first memory that comes to my mind. Like, he, he was uh, preparing before his match. I don't remember uh, against who he played, but he was so relaxed. So I think that's the memory. Do you have any of watching on TV? as a kid of course of course i was watching i was watching him and uh, roger and rafa and uh, roland garros and uh, uh, it was a dream of course to play here and uh, maybe to play on uh, some bigger courts and today i had an opportunity to play uh, on one of the stadiums so maybe next round they will put me on uh, len glen who knows i will hope <laughs> so yes we will see Yeah, a lot of questions for you. I don't know if you speak French because uh, I think you train in Cannes with your sister. Uh, you speak a little French? Just a little bit. I can understand, but I, okay. I can't. Just uh, a question about you. Who, what, what kind of girl are you? Are? Could you say uh, when you start tennis, what, you, you, what, what are your dreams? Uh, perhaps you, um, you, you have uh, hobbies? I don't know. About my hobbies? Uh I don't have any hobbies, like, I think I'm uh, like a usual teenager. I love to watch some TV series when I have a free time. I also have to do my school, but uh, let's be honest, I don't do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I prefer to watch some TV series instead of it. And um, I would say that I am uh, nice, I hope. Uh, but uh, I don't know how to describe myself. I think I uh, care about other people 
that's maybe a good good sign i don't know but you just need to talk to me and then you will understand <laughs> which person i am Um, hi, congrats. Um, you said you haven't achieved anything yet. Obviously, there's a lot of attention on, on what you have achieved because you're so young and it's, it's, it is a big achievement, I would say. But um, is that a measure of the goals that you have? What, what do you want to achieve in your career? What's the, what's the dream, I guess, for you? Um, the dream... I know that uh, Djokovic, he did 22 Grand Slams or 23. So I want to go till 25, if it will be possible, I don't know. And, uh, but I will just play. Um, for now, my goal is to win match by match, to win next match. And then if I win this match, to win next match again. And uh, that's it, just to win match by match. You said you you want to stay humble and and not be a, a diva. <laughs> how do you kind of you know as you continue to to win? If you continue to win, how do you achieve that? How do you make sure that you remain that way? And and how would you define a diva? Uh, I guess if I will be a little bit like a diva, my coach will say something to me for sure because he doesn't like that people. So uh, I'm sure I will get some words from him. And uh, I will just be me. I will just be myself, and I'm sure if I will that if I will just do my thing, I will just uh, let's say stay on the ground. Uh, I will not go as a diva. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you surprised to have won so easily those two matches in the into the main draw? I cannot say that it was an easy matches because. Uh, Alison, she's also a tricky player. She's a very experienced player. Uh, but I had a plan against these two girls, and today it was also not an easy match. We played a lot of games uh, when she uh, when she had game points, and uh, me also. I had a couple of game points, and it just a game, you know. It happened that I managed to win this. Uh, this a few games that she also had an opportunity to win. So I guess it's just a game that it's just happened like this. But for me, I cannot say that it was in, it, in easy matches. Uh, hello, first of all, congratulations for, for the victory. I wanted to ask you, we saw some historic results from like Monica Seles, Martina Hingis, Emma Raducanu, who won Grand Slams at a young age. Is that one of your dreams? And second question, is Novak your idol because you speak with him about him so much? <laughs> Um, Roger, he always been my idol. He al he's always been my number one. But after Roland Garros 2022, when uh, Rafa he won it, I uh, I don't know why, but in my head everything's turned, and uh, now uh, Rafa and Roger they're in the first place. But I don't want to offend Novak. <laughs> so let's say they're three on the first places. So I like I like the way that he plays. He's uh, counter punching a lot, and he's a good defender. He's a good uh, he's a good mover on the court. So yes, I like the way he plays. Здравствуйте, мир. С победы вас. Скажите, пожалуйста, ну, скорее всего, вы вот уже в первую сотню вошли. Скорее всего, вы в начале года вообще планировали такой результат в июне? Нет, не планировала. Я, я даже не знаю, какой у меня сейчас рейтинг. Если смотреть на лайф, то я не знаю, какая я сейчас. 97. 97. Да. Но, конечно, я вообще не думала, что я буду в третьем круге, то, что я войду в топ-100. Это тоже одна такая маленькая мечта исполнилась. Так что посмотрим, может быть, я смогу войти в топ-90 или в топ-80. Скажите, пожалуйста, такой вопрос мне ком. Вот вы наверняка знаете, что о вас много говорят, о вас пишут. Вы находитесь в центре внимания на аренах. Как вы вообще все это воспринимаете? В этом плане я немножечко волнуюсь, конечно, потому что я никогда не получала так много внимания, и 
вот я тут сижу на пресс-конференции в таком большом зале, так что, конечно, я волнуюсь немного, но э, благодарна то, что со мной есть правильные люди, которые помогают мне принимать это все, переживать. Так что, ну, давайте скажем, что это, наверное, мои родители в большей степени мне помогают, поэтому без них, наверное, я бы тут совсем с ума, может, сошла. И последний вопрос. Вам вообще со сверстниками интересно или вы чувствуете себя старше их гораздо? Я не могу сказать, что я чувствую себя старше, просто я чувствую немножечко другой уровень по сравнению с юниорами и с тем, какие игроки тут. Поэтому мне больше нравится играть не юниорские турниры, профессиональные, потому что я играю более расслабленно, чем юниорские. На юниорских ты как бы уже в топе, так скажем, ты должен доказать показать себя, показать результат хороший. И если ты как бы проиграл раньше своего ожидаемого результата, тогда и все начинают на тебя как-то немного по-другому смотреть, и ты начинаешь себе сомневаться. Так что я предпочитаю играть в профессиональные турниры, там не... я просто играю и наслаждаюсь. И все. Спасибо. Большое. Спасибо.